KTRS. My father, uh, when I was a kid, uh, he took me to the bank, and he lifted me up, and he pointed to the teller, and he said, Sonny boy, take a good look at him. That's going to be you someday. The best way to host a woodworking show known as This Old House or Ask This Old House, the first thing you do, you become a banker, and then you uh, send in an email saying that you have absolutely no idea how to take off wallpaper. That's how you become the host <laughs> of This Old House and Ask This Old House. Kevin, uh, uh, Kevin O'Connor, I should say, the host of This Old House and Ask This Old House, who is living my life. Good morning, Kevin. Welcome to KTRS here in St. Louis. Uh, good morning. If I had known you were going to give away my trade secret, I never would have agreed to have come on. So when you were in St. Louis a couple years ago, you were uh, some woman was putting in a generator, and you guys were here, and you invited me to the set, and I wanted to hate you really bad, but you turned uh, out to be a really nice guy. Well, there's a lot of people in your situation. When I first got that job, out of nowhere, dropped into this uh, legendary show, this old house. There were people, guys, mostly across the country, cursing my name <laughs> and my Opie Cunningham face, uh, which is why they kept it under wraps, and I've been in a secure location since. But, uh, but I, I appreciate you telling people that I'm a nice guy and that they should not do physical harm to me for having their dream job. Could you imagine what it would have been like if Twitter or Facebook were around when that happened? Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Unbelievable. Could you imagine what would have happened if they had made it public that they were going to you know, be casting for a new host of this old house? Right. That would have been just insane. Uh, how many years have you been hosting now? I think it's 14. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going into my 14th season, 2003. I think yeah, it's time to crazy. retire, don't you think? I think it's time to... You, you think so? Well, <laughs> here's, here's the other little secret. Uh, even though I've been doing it for 14 years, which is forever on television, uh, the guys that I work with have been doing it for 37. So I don't, I don't have to retire for another 23 years. I, well, I, actually, they haven't even retired yet. So we never retire on this old house. We go forever. What are we looking for this uh, new season? We are going to Detroit. Episodes start this week. First time we've been to the city. We've got a 1939 brick house, beautiful bones, great details. Imagine hardwood floors, ornate uh, plaster moldings, beautiful leaded glass windows. Abandoned for four years, like tens of thousands of homes in Detroit that are empty. Purchased by a local firefighter and his wife who want to fix it up, live in it, and we're going to help them out. We're going to tell the story about how Detroit has hit bottom and is on its way back, bringing back these great homes and putting people back in them so that they come back to the city. Great story. Now, you've also got something online. Is there an online version of this or something? So we have some behind-the-scenes stuff that's been online before the episodes hit this week. Uh, Thisoldhouse.com. Detroit, one house at a time, we're calling it. Beautiful profiles of the homes and the story behind the people who not only bought this house at auction and are working on it, but here's a remarkable thing. Strangers in Detroit, contractors, painters, carpenters, uh, just regular people, found out where we were working, showed up, and begged us, begged us to lend a hand because they love this old house, but more importantly, they wanted the story of Detroit and its resurgence to be told well. And we could not have gotten this house done without the kindness of those strangers. And so these web series, One House at a Time, touches on that story. And you get to meet these spectacular people, strangers you've never seen before, who stepped up and are keeping this craft of you know revitalizing his home alive in Detroit. Great story. The 37th season of This Old House gets underway. Check your local listing on PBS. Kevin O'Connor, unfortunately, a very nice guy and a very great host of this uh, historic and uh, iconic franchise. Kevin, give us a couple hints. How does one get Tommy Silva to come to his house in St. Louis and help him uh, hang a screen door on a brand new wood mahogany door. Oh my goodness! You don't have anyone in mind, do you? Just, 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 just randomly asking. Just, just randomly. Okay. <laughs> well, the good news is, is that you can send an email to this old house, ask this old house. Uh, that's how we actually get our project. When we were in St. Louis putting that generator in, she had sent us an email. We read it and we came out. That's the good news. So there is hope. The bad news is, is that we get, I don't know, three or four or 5,000 of those emails a month, so the odds are low. Pretty slim. And 
we've met you, so we're not quite sure we're coming back. <laughs> I don't, don't, well, don't want to be. I don't want to be taken out. Yeah, you got to watch your back. Well, hold on a second. I, I've been. I think I've been put on a no no email list from you guys. <laughs> I think I've flooded your email, so I'm. You guys aren't getting my emails anymore. Um, is that is that your email? We haven't been getting. That's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> uh, when is the new season of Ask This Old House coming up? Well, so we're in the middle of the season right now. A lot of PBS stations are back from their hiatus. So you'll be seeing brand new episodes of our current season this week on Ask This Old House. We are trucking all over the country. Um, as you know, we were in St. Louis, but we hit Kentucky this week. We're on uh, mark to hit our 50th state this year. So the boys are out there despite the threat to our lives from people like you. Uh, we are out there ringing doorbells. 16 houses all across the country, and we'll continue to do that with new episodes this week on Ask This Old House. Is it really true? I got about 30 seconds. Is it really true, Kevin O'Connor, that you couldn't take off wallpaper? So here's a little dirty secret about that one. That's not why we wrote the show. Um, we wrote them about replicating a rounded corner detail in old plaster. You know how the corners come together nice and sharp and tight these days? Right. Well, I was fixing the plaster in my house. It was a rounded corner. It's a very... Very finesse uh, detail right there. We did that one, and they wanted to film a second one, so they said, what else you got? They made a strip wallpaper, and the only one that made it on the air was the wallpaper. And for 15 years, I've had guys like you <laughs> sticking it in my face saying, you don't know how to strip wallpaper, but that's all right. <laughs> Kevin O'Connor, we're out of time. Thank you very much. This old house hosts the 37th season, 858 KTH. <laughs>